Hey guys, day two of the Amazon Returns Palettes um, work. So I took a, uh, I literally unpacked it all yesterday. If you haven't seen my other videos, then go and check them out from the uh, arrival to the unboxing of my first attempt at flipping some of these Amazon return palettes to see what they are. And yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a day yesterday as we've ended up with an awful lot of uh, household tech and lots of robot hoovers. I even grabbed, I was super, super stoked to uh, get these hoovers and just desperate to try them because I'm a bit of a geek. And uh, I was late leaving work last night anyway and um, in the process of doing things how I think methodically in the right way, the hoovers were uh, like secondary. Um, but yeah, when I left, I had to just, you know what, just grab and it wasn't even in a bag. It was one of these Conga, Chico Tech Conga hoovers, um, robot hoovers, and it was in, it was just in a bag. It obviously arrived back to Amazon in a clear poly bag. And I was like, okay, it's got a charger, it's got a hoover, grab it, go. It shouldn't work, it was just in the pile of bits. But I got home, plugged it in, downloaded the app, connected it, and woof, off it went. And I just spent the next two hours just following this robot hoover around like this going oh my god this is the best thing i think i've ever seen i'm just following it around like it's wicked and then i'll be sat down and go here it comes here it will just come through the door and carry on I'm like this is amazing um yeah it works straight out the out the uh, out of the box that's like 250 quid's worth of uh, of robot hoover with the laser you know mapping thing and i just watched the app whereas it mapped the whole downstairs of the house i think this is badass absolutely uh like blown away by it uh, so back in the next day I had to get some coffee beans to uh, oh they smell great there's it a little sample hole in other makes of coffee available it's just what I grabbed um, so it's really going to enable me to test some of the coffee machines that we've got to see if they are much cop or whether they're working and hopefully the offshoot of testing the hoovers is you can nice clean house the offshoot of uh, or the byproduct of testing these coffee machines fingers crossed is a nice cup of coffee so but this machine's in spanish this is uh this is probably the most expensive one of the most expensive items that i've got this crux quattro force quattro force sounds like my car um coffee machine and it's in spanish so i need to discover whether or not i actually can change that to english and work on it so uh well join me instructions so I'm hoping that oh boy I need some coffee clearly so can we change the language on the screen so I can work out what's going on <laughs> means yes or no oh, Google Translate come on think about it think about it Well, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to do as it tells me. So let's uh, go and get some water. All right, water tank goes in. Want myself a cup? Sensible. doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Should have 
empty that means. interrupt this video please give this video a like and drop a comment as well because that will help my videos reach a larger audience um, especially if the more of you that like it the better and yeah you never know they might find this useful or interesting as well then to the coffee grounds We've got some coffee grounds in here look at that smells wonderful clean the coffee drawer Ah oh, look, my wife's arrived with a McDonald's oh, breakfast. So I'm gonna have to uh, stop filming right now, let the coffee machine do its thing and go and eat my breakfast. very hard not to actually keep this. Anybody want an espresso? So, after testing the second coffee machine, and uh, see it's very mucky, I'm not entirely sure how, um, so that's probably going to be second hand, or that might live here, I don't know, but it's a wicked coffee machine, and it's all good to go. Now it's onto the uh, robot hoovers, so the next thing uh, I've got value-wise is a load of these, so uh, although most of them are the Chico Tech, which I, like I said, I tried at home on the first night and absolutely fell in love with the thing. Um, I've got a Philips version now, so uh, let's try to see how uh, user-friendly this is, or even what's inside the box. Try to uh, type a peek. It smells lovely and coffee-like in here. Right. So let's have a check out on this one. Again, I've, I've not peeked inside here, so I have no clue what's inside. It could be just a brick. Um, Well, the box is, uh, is all nice. Oh, that's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Accessories, still in bags, instructions, cellophane mop pad, possibly. And uh, the prover that uh, is, wow, this is slim compared to the other ones, but then this one's kind of advertised to be able to go underneath your bed and sofa. So it's got fingerprints on, so it's obviously been it's been out, uh, a bit of dust in there, so it's been used. So, with any luck, it's been uh, it's been used and just not wanted. It isn't going to be very good. They don't look like they've seen much use. That's incredibly thin. Incredibly thin. really hasn't seen a great deal of use. So, let's see what we can find, see if it works. Dodgy adapter city, as I mentioned, should have, uh, that's one, one thing that I did neglect to buy is a load of the adapters, so. That's on the next that's on the shopping list. Attach it on, turn it on, make some noises. So we have, so we've got that with the light on. That's probably, that's red, so it's either charging or it's low on charge. Whoop. Oh, there we go. I've not even got a clue what it's going to do now. I haven't downloaded the app or anything. Just press the button. I have no clue what it's doing. Power light's gone red. That probably means it's low on battery. Which wouldn't surprise me because it's been sat in storage for probably a little while. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. 
<laughs> Does a spin around and then locates the charging pins on. Well, there we go. So, at the moment, my nervousness from the uh, initial kind of looking at the pallet and going, this stuff looks fairly battered, to, to opening some of the boxes up and being pleasantly surprised. Um, so far, so good. What, what have we got? We've got a Hoover I took home last night and works. The two coffee machines, uh, one like new, the other one a bit dirty, um, but still fairly new. And another Philips Hoover seemingly working. So, four from four so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna uh, you're gonna track my progress throughout the uh, the whole first time I've ever done this Amazon pallet purchasing and trying to flip it for a profit. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe my channel. I'll update you and keep you informed. Also follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Neil Barker official.